Syndicate. This is The Syndicate. Another head-on battle for a place in the quarterfinals. Quiz teams from all across the UK joust for the title of Supreme Syndicate 2000. The Syndicate is more than a quiz. A head for facts is not enough. It needs a battle plan as well. Right now, tonight, syndicates are locked away, swatting up on a specialist subject sprung on them an hour ago by their opponents. Let's meet tonight's first syndicate from Land's End, Logan Rock. My name is Chris Williams and I am the team captain. I am a farmer and love the great outdoors. The trump card in our pack is Terry Turner. He's a retired policeman and a tough one to beat. Kevin Thomas has given up his day job to become a house husband and IT student. His specialist subjects are pop music and entertainment. Teresa Thomas is Kevin's wife. As a bank manager, she's good with statistics, and tonight we're counting on her to be our top scorer. Chris, Terry, Kevin, Teresa. We are Logan Rock. Release. Logan Rock. Tonight, it's the southwest of England versus the west of Scotland, because from Glasgow, here now, our prime directive. My name is Peter Bissett, and I am the captain. Knowledge is power, and mine is in literature and mythology. Duncan McElwraith, despite his name, is the only Englishman in this otherwise Scottish syndicate. He's run a food company in Glasgow for five years, and his specialist subject is films. The ace in our pack is Bob Scott, a database designer and loud and proud to be a complete Star Trek nut. Peter Griffin never concedes defeat, and his geography expertise makes this a team of all the talents. Peter, Duncan, Bob and Peter, we are Prime Directive. Time's up for swatting. Release Prime Directive. <laughs> so, Chris, uh, Logan Rock. What is Logan Rock from the seaside? Is it pink? Can you chew it? Well, well I'm only a farmer, so you better ask my team a question like that. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to tell us what Logan Rock's all about? I can. Uh... Nick, it's a local landmark, um, a large rock situated on the cliff. Very well balanced there, hopefully like our quiz team. Well, we shall see. And Prime Directive, what's that got to do with Glasgow? Uh, it's a good question, Nick, because uh, it's something of a mystery to me as well. I'm told by a resident expert it's something to do with Star Trek, but um, if you want the gory details, Bob's the man to ask. Bob, you're, you're the sad anorak, as they say, on Star Trek, is that right? Yes, unfortunately. What it means is Starfleet General Order 1, but what it means in our team is that anything goes wrong is purely Peter's fault. Well, <laughs> the captains certainly bear a big responsibility. The syndicates should be aware. Only the captains are safe in their seats. The rest of you are disposable. Skirmish. Captains, you must decide who you're going to put into the firing line. Syndicate members, answer correctly, you will be rewarded. Get it wrong, and you're out. Captains, if you decide to answer a question and get it wrong, you must sacrifice a member of your syndicate. There is always a penalty for an incorrect answer. Logan Rock, do you understand? Yes. Prime Directive, do you understand? Yes. The first question goes to Logan Rock. The subject is fictional priests. Presumably you have an expert on fictional priests. Who's going to take it? Teresa. Teresa. In Father Ted, which award-winning talk show host appeared as the dancing priest? Gay Byrne. It was Graham Norton. Goodbye, Teresa. To Prime Directive, your subject is weak points. Peter. Peter, are you strong on weak points? Which phrase, meaning a weak point, comes from the myth of a Greek hero who was invulnerable, save for one specific part of his body? His Achilles heel. Achilles, you're correct. Ten points. 
to Logan Rock. The subject is incompetence. Now we'll find out what you think of your team. Chris, who's for that one? Oh, I'll take it. <laughs> what name is given to the principle that in a hierarchy every employee tends to rise to the level of his or her incompetence? Parkinson's? No, it is the Peter principle. You must sacrifice a player. Terry. Bye-bye, Terry. <laughs> Prime Directive, the subject is sporting achievement. Um, I'll take that. As a result of his 1985 win at Epsom, which American became the first jockey to ride winners in both the Kentucky Derby and the Derby? Willie Shoemaker. No, the answer is Stephen Cawthon. You must sacrifice a member. Um, Duncan. Goodbye, Duncan. To Logan Rock, the subject is heroes. <laughs> Who's yours? Kevin. Kevin, John Reed is the real name of a hero who fired silver bullets. How is he better known? The Lone Ranger. Correct. Ten points or reinstate? Reinstate Teresa. Hello, Teresa. To Prime Directive, your subject is drinking. Come on, who does that? Uh, Bob. Hello, Bob. What name was given to the illegal drinking dens which flourished in the United States during Prohibition? Speak easies. Ten points or reinstate? Reinstate. To Logan Rock, the subject is villains. Who does that remind you of? So Kevin again. Kevin, which villainous seafarer's last words were Floriat Etona, the motto of Eton College? Captain Hook. Correct. Ten points or reinstate? Terry. Subject is the Royal Family. Out and Ian Royal. Um, Peter. Peter, which English duchy can only be held by the heir to the throne for whom it was established as a source of income? Well, Dr. Lancaster. No, the Duchy of Cornwall. You are eliminated. Logan Rock, the subject is volunteers. Who are you volunteering? Terry. Terry, what name was given to the multinational volunteer forces which fought for the Republicans in the Spanish Civil War? The uh, fourth column. No, the international brigades. You're in the dark. To Prime Directive, your subject is versatility. I'll take that. Which actor played the US president, an RAF officer, and a mad scientist in Dr. Strangelove? Peter Sellers. Correct. Ten points or reinstate? Reinstate. Logan Rock, your subject is Lennon and McCartney. Kevin. Kevin, which singer, real name Charles Westover, was the first artist to enter the US charts with Lennon and McCartney song? Del Shannon. Correct. Ten points or reinstate? Reinstate. Prime Director, the subject is inflation. Bob. To within £200, how much money would you need today to equal the purchasing power of £100 in 1914? £3,500. No, the answer is £5,800. You're back in the dark. Logan Rock, the subject is modern British history. I'll take it. What fell from 368,000 in 1968 to 209,000 in 1998? Oh. It's the number of people in Britain's armed forces. Who will you sacrifice? Terry. Prime Directive, the subject, dogs. Duncan. Duncan, which terrier? took its present name from a character in Walter Scott's novel, Guy Mannering. Kane the Terry. answer is Dandy Dinmont. You're in the dark. Last question to Logan Rock in this part of the contest. The subject is sporting failures. I'll take it. What unwelcome cricketing distinction was claimed by Malcolm Nash in 1968? He was hit for six sixes by Sir Gary Sobers. Ten points or reinstate? Reinstate. Last question in this part of the contest, a prime directive. Your subject, insults. I'll take it. Who did Benito Mussolini call that garrulous monk? Adolf Hitler. Correct. Ten points or reinstate? Reinstate, Duncan. After the first contest, you've been playing tactically. Logan Rock, that you answered many correctly. You've been keeping your players in play. Your syndicate is complete. Your syndicate score is zero. Prime directive, you have three of your syndicate in play. One is out. Your syndicate score is ten. <laughs> Chris.
Chris, you've been determined to keep people in play, roll and take points. Why? I think for the second round, you do need all your team intact for this swap round, so just want to keep everyone together. You need all your wits about you. Is that what you've been up to as well, Peter, worrying about the swap rounds? I'm afraid so, very much the case. Well, there's still ten points ahead, just, but now the contest takes that devious twist about the swap rounds. An hour before we started, each syndicate was handed a subject to swat up. They had access to a library, to a telephone and to the internet, but they only had an hour. And the cruel twist is that the subject for each syndicate was chosen by their opponents, who reckon that they are the experts in it. The syndicate can confer, but the answer must come through the captains, and be warned, if the answer is wrong, your opponents will gain the advantage. Logan Rock, do you understand? Yes. Prime Directive, do you understand? Yes. Logan Rock, Prime Directive challenge you to answer on their specialist subject, Scottish football since 1965. <laughs> Who was the manager of the Aberdeen side which won the European Cup Winners' Cup in 1983? Alex Ferguson. Alec Ferguson. Correct. Ten points. Which team caused a massive upset by beating Celtic 4-1 in the 1971 League Cup final? Partick Thistle. Correct. Ten points. Name one of two Rangers players who, after a match in 1987, were convicted of disorderly conduct and breach of the peace. Chris, Chris Woods. Correct. Ten points. Which Celtic player caused a sensation by joining Rangers in July 1989? Johnson. Morris Johnson. Morris Johnson. Johnson, correct. Ten points. Which team won the 1983 Premier Division title by a single point? Dundee United. Correct. Ten points. Celtic beat Inter Milan 2-1 to become European champions in 1967. Who scored the winning goal? Martin Chalmers. 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 Correct. Ten points. Who set a new Scottish League record by scoring in ten consecutive games during the 1997-1998 season? Marco Negri. Of Rangers, correct. Ten points. Which was the last Scottish club to reach a European final? Dundee United. Correct. Ten points. In 1998, Hearts brought the Scottish Cup back to Edinburgh. How long had it been since a team from the capital won the trophy? 42 years. 42 years. Correct. Which player made history in 1977 by becoming the first player ever to win the Scottish Cup with both Rangers and Celtic? Alfie Kahn. Alfie Kahn. Ten points. <laughs> what an astonishing tour de force. Your tactics paid off. Logan Rock, at the end of your challenge, you have all your syndicates still in play. Your syndicate score is 100. <laughs> I just assume that Scottish football since 1965 has not been something which um, came with your mother's milk. I say we do follow football a bit. I know living in West Cornwall, we don't follow the Scottish much, but we still knew a bit about it anyway. So, prime directive, the frustration. There you are. You chose a subject pre presumably you thought would floor them. Well, we hope so. But, uh, clearly not. They're rather good, aren't they? Rather good, yes. Well, let's see if prime directive is rather good as well, because prime directive. Logan Rock challenge you to answer on their specialist subject, James Bond films. Which British actor played Valentin Sukowski in Golden Eye and the World is Not Enough? Robbie Coltrane. Correct. Ten points or reinstate? Ten points. What was the distinguishing physical characteristic of Scaramanga, the man with the golden gun? Yeah, three nipples. Ten points or reinstate? Points. Which Bond production required the building of the world's largest film soundstage? Moonraker. I offer that to Logan Rock. Which Bond production required the building of the world's largest film soundstage? Spy Who Loved Me. Spy Who Loved Me. Correct. Pinewood Studios, you may eliminate an opponent. Duncan. Prime Directive, in You Only Live Twice, who or what was Little Nelly? It was an autogyro. It was a mini helicopter, correct? Ten points or reinstate? Reinstate, Duncan. Which film features Bambi, Thumper and Plenty O'Toole? Diamonds Are Forever. Diamonds Are Forever. Correct. Ten points or reinstate? Take the points.
How is Major Boothroyd better known? Q. Q. Yes, or Desmond Llewellyn, correct. Ten points or reinstate? Uh, points. In Goldfinger, Bonds, Aston, Martin had revolving number plates valid in Britain, France and which other European country? Switzerland. Correct. Ten points or reinstate? Points. In Goldeneye, who enjoys strangling her victims to death between her thighs? On a top. Correct. Xenia on a top. Ten points or reinstate? Points. In which film is Bond first seen wearing a wetsuit under which he has a white dinner jacket? Dr. No. It goes to Logan Rock. In which film is Bond first seen wearing a wetsuit underneath which he has a white dinner jacket? Goldfinger. Goldfinger. Correct. You may eliminate an opponent. Duncan. Prime Directive, the last of your challenge in several films Bond battles against Spectre. What precisely do those initials stand for? Special Executive for Counter Espionage, Terrorism, Revenge. You are out of time. Logan Rock, in several films Bond battles with Spectre. Precisely what do those initials stand for? Counterintelligence, Revenge, Special Terrorism and Extortion. Special Executive. Counterintelligence. Counterintelligence. No, you are out of time. The answer is Special Executive for Counterintelligence, Terrorism, Revenge and Extortion. And extortion. You have to have the complete answer. You must sacrifice one of your own players. Who will it be? Uh, Terry. After the second of these challenges, Prime Directive, you have two players in, two of your syndicate out. Your syndicate score is 70. Logan Rock, you have three players in, one out. Your syndicate score is 100. Peter, by any routine standards, you did rather well. Uh, not too bad. Could have been not worse. too bad. Not enough against Indeed. what they did with your challenge to them. It was a bigger subject, I think. That's, that's, my, that's our excuse, anyway. Where does the bond interest come? Logan Rock? There's Kevin's a bond expert. Did you know all the answers, Kevin? No, I struggled on the last one, though. You Respect struggled on the last one, as we saw. Mm. You did not not bad. So let's now move on. Time now for the final contest. From now on, possession is everything. Syndicates, you can keep answering questions until you get something wrong. The questions will then move to the opposition. Captains, for each correct answer, you can score, you can reinstate, or you can eliminate. Logan Rock, do you understand? Yes. Prime Directive, do you understand? Yes. Prime Directive, you are trailing. You go first. Which capital city was burnt by British forces in 1814? Washington. Washington. Washington, D.C. Points reinstate or eliminate? Reinstate, Bob. From which planet did Superman come to Earth? Krypton. Krypton. Points reinstate or eliminate? Reinstate, Duncan. What term is used in Israel to describe a collective farm? Kibbutz. Kibbutz. Points or eliminate? Points. What is the lowest positive perfect number? Six. Six. Points or eliminate? Points. Which 1912 disaster was the subject of Walter Lord's book, A Night to Remember? Titanic. 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 Points or eliminate? Quickly. Uh, points. Which organ in the human body produces bile? Pancreas. The liver. Correct. Points or eliminate? Um, eliminate, Teresa. In The Lord of the Rings, which hobbit set off with Frogo Baggins on his epic journey? Sam, Mary and Pippin. Correct. Points or eliminate? Eliminate, Kevin. In Morse code, which letter is denoted by dot dash? O. Oh. The answer is A. Next question goes to your opponents. Logan Rock, in which British city is the National Railway Museum? York. Correct. Points, reinstate or eliminate? Uh, Kevin. Reinstate. Which film actor, known for his epic roles, called his autobiography in the arena? Charlton Heston. Charlton Heston. Correct. Points reinstate or eliminate? Reinstate Teresa. In which sport might the Golden Bear play the Great White Shark? Golf. 
incorrect. Points, reinstate or eliminate? Reinstate Terry. Which diarist has friends called Jude and Shazza and is obsessed with getting a weight down to eight stone seven pounds? Ali McBeal. No, Bridget Jones. The next question goes to Prime Directive. In which musical is the leading character urged to climb every mountain? Sound of music. Correct. Points or eliminate? Eliminate, Kevin. Which part of your body would be bleeding if you were experiencing an epistaxis? Nose. Correct. Points or eliminate? Eliminate, Teresa. Which pop star turned financial guru was born Terence Nellums? Adam Faith. Correct. Points or eliminate? Eliminate, Terry. Which long-running Radio 4 series described itself as the antidote to panel games? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I haven't a clue. I'm sorry, I haven't a clue. You're out of time. I'm sorry, I haven't a clue. One of your members had it. We now go to Logan Rock. In which vitamins are carrots particularly rich? A. Correct. Points reinstate or eliminate? Reinstate, Kevin. Who said I never forget a face, but in your case I'll be glad to make an exception? Correct your marks. Correct. Points reinstate or eliminate? Eliminate Duncan. Astronomically, where would you find Phobos and Deimos? The, Mars, the, Mars. the satellites of Mars. Correct. Points reinstate or eliminate? Reinstate Teresa. How are trumpet narcissi popularly <coughs> known? That is the three minute warning. Trumpet narcissi are daffodils, but we are about to freeze the team. If you're in, you're in. If you're out, you are out for the rest of the contest. There's no going back from this point on, except that first, captains, you have an agonising decision. You can now trade your players for points. You can sell members of your syndicate for 30 points. You can buy members back for 30 points. Your choice can now transform the game. Logan Rock, you have... Three syndicate members in play and one out. Your syndicate score is 100. Prime Directive, you also have one out, three in, and a syndicate score of 100. Prime Directive, will you buy, sell, or stick? Sell, is that? Um, so, sell. sell them both. You are selling both your players. A brave decision. It earns you 60 syndicate points. Logan Rock, will you now buy, sell, or stick? I'll sell Teresa. That gives you 30 points. Logan Rock is now on 130 syndicate points. Prime Directive on 160. Prime Directive has the captain on his own. Possession is still the key. Three minutes will settle it all. Logan Rock, you were in possession when the siren started. You are in play. Your time starts now. Foil and Sabre are two blades used in competitive fencing. What's the third? Epe. Correct, ten points. In the nursery rhyme, Barbar Bar Black Sheep, who was the third bag of wool for? One for the little boy down the lane. Correct, ten points. If you had a TEFL qualification, what would you be able to do? Teach. Not enough. Teach English as a foreign language. Next one to Prime Directive. In which city in England would you find the building dubbed Paddy's Wigwam? Liverpool. Correct, it's the Roman Catholic Cathedral, 10 points. According to the latest government statistics, what is the most popular name for newborn girls in Britain? Sophie. No, it's Chloe. Next question to Logan Rock. Which West Indian bowler became the leading wicket-taker in Test cricket history oh, earlier this year? Correct, 10 points. Luciano Pavarotti and Pathido Domingo are two of the three tenors. Who's the third? Jose Carreras. Correct, 10 points. Which town gave its name to a twilled cotton cloth used for making overalls and jeans? I don't know. Name. Correct. Neems, as in de Neems or Denims. You're in the lead, 180. How were Tommy Lee Jones and Will Smith described in the title of a hit film of 1997? Men in Black. Correct. Ten points. Who is credited with inventing the newspaper? Beaverbrook. It was Julius Caesar before Beaverbrook. Prime Directive. On which day of the week did Britain declare war on Germany in 1939? Tuesday. One minute Thursday, it was a Sunday. We go to Logan Rock. Why is the name Lucille particularly significant in the work of blues musician B.B. King? Name of his guitar. Correct, ten points. In Only Fools and Horses, in which building did Derek Trotter live? Nelson Mandela House. Correct, ten points. What did a British television viewer need for the first time on the 1st of June 1946? TV licence. Correct. One measure of inflation is the RPI. What is the RPI? 
Retail Price Index. Correct, 10 points. Which philosopher tutored Alexander the Great? Aristotle. Correct, 10 points. Under the new telephone codes introduced in April 2000, what begins with 09? Yes, yes the pr uh, premium rate numbers. Correct, 10 points. What are Algol, COBOL and Snowball? The computer languages. Correct, 10 points. In Rugby Union, how many points are scored with a converted try? Seven. Correct, 10 points. Which television programme featured Big Ted, Little Ted and Jemima? Play school. Play school. Correct, 10 points. Which British city has been called the Athens of the North? Ab Aberdeen. No, Edinburgh. Next question to Prime Directive. You can still do it. What is measured in watts? Power. Correct, 10 points. Which footballer was nicknamed the Preston Plumber? Tom Finney. Correct, 10 points. Which Spanish adventurer conquered the Incas? Cortes. No, Pizarro. Next one to Logan Rock. Which literary villain had a dog called Bullseye? Bill Sykes. Bill Sykes. Correct, in Oliver Twist. Which country left the Commonwealth in 1961 and rejoined in 1994? Pakistan. No, South Africa. What was... <coughs> what was... Time is up. Prime Directive, your syndicate score is 190. Logan Rock, you are the winners with 290. <laughs> Congratulations to Logan Rock, who go forward to the quarterfinals. Join us next time when two more teams fight for the title of Supreme Syndicate 2000. Understand? Good night. Feeling great after a performance like that. Yeah, it was a really good effort, wasn't it, Chris? Yes, good teamwork. Yeah, good tactics by the captain. Dropping me, very wise. <laughs> <laughs> he did very well in Scottish football. Oh, credit to them. Well. That was a remarkable performance. Oh, yeah. Well, the tactics after the first round, knowing that the spot round was coming out, I thought it would be a good idea to keep all the team intact, so the points didn't really matter. I just wanted to make sure I had all four there for a spot round. Uh, I think perhaps we didn't perform very well tactically, though we had decided to probably sell on our players in the last round. In retrospect, perhaps we shouldn't have. They, they reduced themselves to one man, which I think was probably a mistake. What's worse is I'm, I was born in Cornwall, so that's... that's uh, <laughs> I think that's well. why they kept knocking you out. I think that was it. I think that was it. <laughs> we'll beat them in the replay. So, <laughs> I just want more Scottish football, please. <laughs> This family.